Springdale double axle models will have more features than the single axle ones, but for the most part, you're going to get more than what you'd expect in a single axle. With that being said, I'm going to consolidate the large amount of info to make sure that all models are included. The Springdale living area is very impressive. Every model has super comfy furniture, but a lot of them will include a sofa and dinette. As for the Springdale kitchen, you'll get at least a six cubic foot fridge, but a lot are gonna have that 12 volt, 11 cubic foot Everchill fridge, while the destination models can have an 18 cubic foot fridge. Yowza, that's some space, baby. Every model will come with a multi-burner cooktop with most having a glass cover. Ovens come in a lot of models as well as a microwave and a low profile range hood. As far as cleaning and meal prepping, there's a pressed countertop plus a single basin undermount sink with a premium pull down faucet. A lot of models will also have a handy dandy stainless steel drying rack. And let me tell you, those things work pretty well. What do you say we talk AC? You're gonna get a 13,500 BTU AC, most ducted with a 15K option in larger models and 15K standard in the destination travel trailer models. There's a lot of cool air in those too. Now for some hot air, well, besides from me, you're gonna find Springdale's with a 30,000 BTU furnace. Most will have in-floor heating ducts and a lot of models come with an electric fireplace with high and low output settings. As far as the bathroom, how does a Formica countertop grab you? I love it myself. Every model comes with a shower surround plus a medicine cabinet with mirror. Let's check out the boudoir, shall we? I can't spell it, probably didn't say it. Every Springdale comes with a 60 by 74 queen bed. Most have dual wardrobe closets and a few have a walk-in closet. You'll get a handy laundry chute on a lot of models as well as a fitted bedspread. Most will have TV hookup available in the bedroom as well. Oh, uh, and since I'm talking entertainment, the outdoors is great, but sometimes you need a little tube time. Most Springdale models come with a large HD TV that pairs nicely with the WineGuard HD premium antenna with Wi-Fi prep. You'll get a sweet stereo with interior and exterior speakers as well. Exterior, hey, let's head outside via the more right step above entry step found on most models. Most will also have the very handy power tongue jack as well. What else is sitting beside the power tongue jack? Well, a majority of Springdale models come with a giggy box. This butte is a weather resistant housing found on most Springdales that's gonna consolidate the wiring up front, making it weather resistant and generally comes with a battery disconnect. The giggy box was a great addition. Batteries naturally are important as such, the 100 amp hour Dragonfly Energy heated lithium batteries are an option for some Springdales, but most are going to come with them. Get your battery life dramatically extended too because you're going to get standard the Solar Flex 200 solar energy system, giving you 200 watts of solar on the roof. This system is so flexible, you can even add on to it. That, my friend, is awesome. Just as awesome is the Gerard on demand tankless water heater. Now, Technically, it may be an interior feature, but I mean, what the heck, right? I'm outside and I forgot about it. Get your hot water faster. Water means a shower, and most models do come with an outside shower so you can get the dirt off before you enter your new Springdale. What else does a Springdale have? Got to tell you, storage. Most are going to come with the mega pass-through storage compartment. Other fine features include the LP Quick Connect and backup camera prep. Any travel trailer worth its salt will have long lasting construction. The smooth metal front found on most Springdale models is not only pretty, but it's solid. A Springdale comes with tough locked AC duct joiners and true fit slide construction, including triple ceiling with steel C channel moisture barrier for those with slide outs. For most, the roof has a seamless one piece TPO membrane and is fully walkable. Springdale has one of the widest varieties of floor plan options that you can find. So I'm going to start with a few lightweight single axle models. Now these generally run roughly 22 feet in length and have an unloaded weight hovering near 4,000 pounds. A popular and family friendly bunkhouse is the 1800 BH. 
It has stacked twin bunks and a surprising amount of countertop space and can comfortably sleep up to five. The 1740 RK gives you a lot of countertop, a dinette and a slide out, and a Murphy bed up front to use as a sofa during the day. The 1790 FQ has an impressive rear bath running across the entire back end. The booth dinette sits in the slide and the bed is an easy walk around queen. As for the double axle Springdales, you're going to find they run the gamut when it comes to length and weight. And I got to tell you, I urge you to use our towing guide at CampingWorld.com to check your vehicle's towing capacity before venturing into the world of double axle Springdales. Just a note there. So let's check out a few right now. I'm going to start with those popular bunkhouses. At just over 4,000 pounds, the 2010BH is one of the lightest double axles made. You'll get double over double bunks, a large booth dinette, and a corner queen bed to sleep in Impressive 7. The 260BH and its western counterpart, the 260TBWE, stretches the no slide double over double bunk floor plan and adds a nice jackknife sofa. The bedroom is roomy and has a solid door for privacy. You'll be able to sleep eight in this puppy. Now the 282BH has a massive slide out to create room in the living area. There's direct access from the exterior into the bathroom and looky here, a fireplace. <laughs> Come on now. Sleeping accommodations are all set for eight in this one. The 298BH is a big daddy at nearly 33 feet and just under 7,000 pounds. There's a large living area slide out, a gorgeous fireplace and that bunk room it's a wow moment, a private bunk room that also houses the exterior kitchen. Counting all that comfort, you'll be able to sleep at minimum eight, maybe up to 10. Now let's check out some Springdale models designed for the camping couple. The 256RD has a large U dinette on the back wall, theater seats across from the entertainment center with a fireplace, a walk-through bathroom, and a roomy bedroom. The 256RD can sleep up to four. With the back wall all kitchen, the 281 RK is a camp cook's delight. You'll have plenty of room to cook and move about thanks to the opposing living area slide outs. The bathroom, it's walk through, and there's a super sweet fireplace along with theater seats. Sleeping room, let me tell you, you got room for four. The 285 TL has a pair of recliners against the back wall, great for morning coffee and watching the sunrise, or for a different beverage and watching the sunset. There's a large slide out, L-shaped kitchen, and a walk-through bathroom. Four, maybe five, can sleep in the 285 TL. The 311 RE takes the back wall and makes it a massive entertainment center, complete with a fireplace. There are opposing slide outs with recliners and a sofa across from one another to enhance that camp conversation. The 311RE can sleep up to four. Springdale has a few destination, AKA park model floor plans. One of them, the 38FL, boy, let me tell you, this butte is an apartment on wheels with a rear bedroom opening to a massive living area complete with an L-shaped sectional sofa containing a trifold mega bed. You'll also get an additional trifold sofa, so your total sleeping accommodations in this one is seven. And let me tell you, that kitchen, <laughs> right on time. Ah, Springdale, it sounds just relaxing. And you can find yours to relax in today at rv.campingworld.com. And hey, while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young, and as always, happy camping.